Hello, my good and wonderful people. I want to say a very big thank you to all of you out there. You that is watching me, God bless you. For watching, for following me, for giving me thumb ups, sending comments and testimonies. I love you all. Keep doing it. It's good. Good Life Television is here once again to bring you wonderful and good information that will always help you in life. If today is your first time or that you've watched without subscribing, you can subscribe, touch the notification bell, so you can follow me and get updates from all my videos as soon as I upload video. This is a wonderful place to be. Good things are happening. And we give God all the glory. Today, I want to talk about spiritual bad. So many of us, we misplace it. There are some different, different spiritual bads. Every spiritual bad have a particular problem it solves. It's not one spiritual bad for everything. It doesn't work that way. That's why some people, they complain. You have to know the one you are doing for anyone you are doing it. Be particular about what you are doing and you will get the desired result. Today, I want to talk about spiritual bad, especially for stunted movement. If you notice stagnancy, you find it very difficult to make progress in life. Before you get any good thing, you will suffer. Time we go, money we go, energy we go, too much. It's not good. It's not just normal. You don't record progress in life. You stay at a particular stage of life for a very long time. At a time you start wondering what is happening to you. That is the spiritual path I want to introduce you to, to you today. What you will use. To stop stagnancy, slow in movement in life, so that your, your life will be moved, moving very fast in good way. You don't remain at a particular stage of life for a, for a very long time without recording progress. Nothing good is happening. Not that you are suffering too much, but you are just there. You don't grow. You don't improve. There's a kind of line, the draw, that you don't cross that line. You remain, you keep struggling for a very long time. In your business, your business doesn't grow. Your marriage life doesn't grow. You work for a very long time, nothing to show for it. You save money, one thing or the other will come and just take that. You remain stagnant every time before you achieve any progress in life it takes a long time and a hard time for you to achieve most times it's not ordinary it is not out of struggle that will get what we get the bible says by strength shall no man prevail this the race is not for the swift but his grace you need a grace of God. You need some spiritual cleansing to move forward in life. So don't overlook it. Today I want to introduce to you, I want you to go and put it in practice. The spiritual cleansing you will do so that you will start noticing improvement in your life. You will never be stagnant again. You will move forward. In this spiritual path, what you need is seven leaves just seven leaves of bitter leaf. Seven leaves. Just get the leaves one after the other. Seven. Then get one bitter cola. Look for a place to grind it. Just grind it. Grind these two together. Then get, if you can get black soap, all this Ghana soap, all this powdered soap that you can use to bath, the quantity you will mix with that solution you mix you will finish it in one bath so you don't put too much soap so that you can finish the bath 
Anyone you mix, you must make sure you finish it that day. You don't remain anything. When you mix this three together, use it to bet. Remember, don't remain anything. Any mixture you do, make sure you finish it. That's why you have to calculate, especially when you want to mix with soap. So that the soap will not be too much. When you mix this three together, use it to bet. When you bet, you pray that you want to overcome stagnancy. You want to record success. You want to record promotion. You want to record better things in your life. You want to have something to show for all these years you have been struggling. For what you have been doing for your business, for your working place. You want something to show for it. Something to show that you have been doing. That you want the grace to move you forward. Any powers that have been hindering you, that have been stopping you, that have been putting you stuck in this particular stage of life, that you bet it out. I tell you, it works perfectly well. And after betting, don't just clean that body. Allow that water to dry, the water you use to bet to dry in your body. You will see what will happen in your life, in your working place. Where you don't have promotions, you will see promotions coming in. When you don't mean business, where you don't normally make gear, you will see, you will notice that you start making gear. You will see the wonders of God in your life. I tell you, it's very important that you do it. Listen to me, the soap you will mix, don't remain any. Make sure that you use it finished. In one bed. Tomorrow you do another one. For three days is enough. Keep praying. Keep speaking the word. Charge the soap very well before you use it to bed. Speak what you want. Is it in your marriage? Is it in your academics? Is it in your working place? Is it in your business that you have been so stagnant? You don't move. You find it difficult to record progress. To change level then apply this solution I have given to you. I bet you, you will bring testimony to Good Life Television and we give God the glory. It's a wonderful spiritual bet for stagnancy, low in movement, progressive movement. I want you to try it. And when you try it, share our video. When you share our video, give us thumbs if you like our video. It recommend Good Life Television to other people. Don't keep our information to yourself. It is my utmost desire that we all enjoy and glorify God. The life we live is too short for us to endure. We have to move forward together and be happy. Thank you for following this video to this point. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for recommending Good Life Television to other people. Go and apply this and the good Lord will bless you. Bye-bye and God bless.